Every face is unique. We all want to look our best, and it helps to understand not only how we age, but how our faces move and work. By explaining what our muscles do, we hope you'll begin to understand facial expression and how repeated muscle movement can affect your facial appearance. This knowledge can then help open your eyes to the possibilities for facial rejuvenation in clinic. Muscles of our face animate our facial expressions when we smile, talk and laugh. These repeated expressions can cause lines and wrinkles to form on the skin. Yet lines can be reduced and softened using non-surgical cosmetic techniques. Every face can be divided into three distinct areas. The upper face, mid face and lower face. In the upper face in particular, there are a number of muscles that create our expressions and some that also give us lines and wrinkles as we age. The frontalis muscle is the only muscle actually lifting the upper third of the face. It elevates the eyebrows to draw up towards the hairline. Due to this constant movement, wrinkles, known as forehead lines, form. The frontalis muscle is a very expressive muscle. It's often used when showing surprise, so it's natural to have some lines in this area, often from a young age. The frontalis pulls up and the lines form horizontally across the forehead. The procerus muscle is located between the brows. It is a depressor muscle, which means it pulls down and can create a heavy fold or frown. This is seen as a line across the bridge of the nose. The corrugator muscles are also used when we frown. Over time, these muscles cause lines at an angle pulling down in between the eyebrows. If your corrugator muscle is overactive, it can make you look angry, often when you're not, and contributes to your frown lines. A lot of people frown when concentrating or looking at a computer. Eventually, these lines can become more noticeable and might remain visible at rest when the muscle is not moving. Another important muscle active in the upper face is orbicularis oculi. These are the muscles around the eye that opens and closes them. This muscle group is situated all around the eye and its effect is most obvious when we squint or smile broadly. Like the procerus and corrugator muscles, the orbicularis oculi is also a depressor. But as a circular muscle, it pulls in all directions all the way around the eye. This movement can result in crow's feet, which fan out from the corners of the eye. With time, the constant activity of facial muscles contribute to line formation. In the upper face, the signs of ageing are generally crow's feet, frown lines and forehead lines. As we age, these lines can remain visible even at rest to form what are called static wrinkles. Understanding how your muscles work is the first step and your clinician can open your eyes to the possibilities. There are a number of options for rejuvenation and enhancement including muscle relaxants, dermal fillers and skin treatments that can help to reduce lines and wrinkles as well as improve skin quality and texture. Talk to your clinician about which treatment options are right for you. Wrinkle relaxation treatments have been used for over 20 years in clinical practice and have been used in more than 20 million cosmetic patients worldwide. They are used to relax the specific facial muscles that can create undesirable lines and wrinkles. When these muscles are relaxed, the effect is a refreshed, more open appearance in the upper face. They can also reduce further lines forming. Dermal fillers, including those made from naturally occurring sugars, can be used to fill in discrete regions like static wrinkles that are visible when the face is at rest, plus deeper folds and the lips. 
These sugars are already present in the layers of your skin, providing structure, support and skin elasticity. In the upper face, dermal fillers can refresh the eye area, alleviating a tired look by volumizing the tear troughs under the eye and plumping up hollow temples in both men and women. They can also be used to volumize the brow area to create a more youthful appearance in women of all ages. Volumizing fillers enhance or restore structure, volume and youthful contours to the larger areas of the face like cheeks and jawline. Now let's look at the skin surface. It is the outer layer of our skin that determines our complexion and is exposed to the elements every day. To keep your skin looking young and fresh, remember to protect against harmful UV rays with a good sunscreen that contains zinc, UVA and UVB filters. Cleanse and moisturise daily and exfoliate regularly to keep your skin smooth and drink plenty of water to keep your skin hydrated. Cosmetic skin treatments can also be used to improve skin texture and quality, minimising broken capillaries, pigmentation issues, sunspots, freckles or blemishes, and redness or rosacea. Your clinician can advise which skin treatments are right for you, whether cosmeceuticals or perhaps resurfacing techniques such as chemical peels, dermabrasion, laser or IPL. Speak to your clinician about what's possible in clinic. Use clever beauty and makeup techniques at home. Looking great isn't luck. You can be your best with a little knowledge and a little expert help. So it's important to discuss with your clinician how your muscles are influencing the way you look. Your clinician can develop a unique treatment plan for you to achieve a refreshed and more rejuvenated appearance.